a very eye-opening video indeed. Let's summarize the video that we just watched. So it's about students who are addicted to computer games and they found that um, basically a teacher offered students um, the opportunity to uh, be enlisted in uh, a program that actually teaches about uh, gaming and there they learn how to play games but also make games and also write about games as well and parents of course had complaints about this uh, and they actually the students actually really 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 enjoyed this program and they were this course and they were more willing to you know write and they were more willing to just enjoy school basically um, so there was an experiment that uh, was conducted in the 1980s I believe where uh, they used mice and they also used like an addictive drug and the research found that mice who don't get addicted to drugs um, in a good environment. So basically, uh, mice who are living in happy environments are less likely to get addicted to these drugs, whereas mice who live in isolation and are unhappy are more likely to get addicted to the drugs. So pretty interesting. Um, I would say the bottom line of the video is kids may be addicted to computer games because uh, they don't have any other outlet. So that's just kind of their way of relieving stress. Uh, and so if they are in a happy environment, perhaps they won't be as addicted. So I think that would be the message of the video. Let's take a look at today's themes. 자, 첫 번째 theme은요. 저는 게임 중독에 걸린 것 같습니다. 자, 두 번째 문장은요. 우리 애가 왜그 프로그램에 참여해야 하나요? 자, 이두 문장을 저희가 조금 이따 영어로 한번 바꿔 보겠습니다. 자, 일단 어, 지식 복화부터 시작할게요. 중독된. 이 단어는 꼭 아셔야 되겠죠? 자, 중독된. addicted. addicted. Addicted, okay? 그래서 무엇에 중독된 할 때는 addicted to blank. 이 to 전치사를 사용해 하셔야 됩니다. Addicted to. So let's take a look at some examples. 게임에 중독된, addicted to computer games. The students in the video were addicted to computer games. Uh, addicted to chocolate. Chocolate is addicted. That's me. I'm addicted to chocolate. Uh, 나의 스마트폰에 중독된. Addicted to my smartphone. I think a lot of people these days are addicted to their smartphones. How about you? What are you addicted to? Is there anything that you think you are addicted to? Okay, something to think about. Uh, 중독된, addicted입니다. 자, 두 번째 핵심 표현은요. 참여하다. 무엇에 참여하다 할 때는 participate in. 이 participate 사용하기 싫으시면 어, be part of라는 표현도 있습니다. Be part of은 어, participate in보다 조금 더 informal한 느낌이 있어요. So, 프로그램에 참여하다 저희가 나중에 이거를 사용할 건데요. Participate in the program or be part of the program. 이렇게 쓰시면 돼요. Okay, so 참여하다 두 가지 있습니다. Participate in or be part of. Okay, so I participated in team sports. I was part of a team uh, I was a part of a team. 이렇게 해도 되죠? 그래서 you can use these two um, expressions you, mostly interchangeably, but I wouldn't say all the time. 문법적으로 이렇게 어, 서로 교체 못하는 경우도 있어요. 그래서 그거는 어, 참고하셔야 됩니다. 자, 그러면 지식 라이팅으로 넘어가겠습니다. 자, 첫 번째 문장은요. 저는 게임 중독에 걸린 것 같습니다. 저는 게임 중독에 걸린 것 같습니다. 자, 첫 번째 부분은요. 저는 뭐뭐 같습니다. 자, 뭐뭐 같습니다 할 때는 그냥 I think 라고 하면 돼요. I think the team is going to lose. I think my back hurts. I think I hurt my elbow. Well, I think she doesn't like me. 이렇게요. 그래서 저는 뭐뭐 같습니다. 
그 다음에 게임 중독에 걸린 것. 자 누가 게임 중독에 걸린 것? 한국어에는 안 써져 있지만 영어에서는 꼭 쓰셔야 되죠. 그래서 I'm 내가 I'm addicted to. 자 오늘 배웠던 핵심 표현이죠. Addicted to. Addicted to. What are you addicted to? I'm addicted to chocolate. I'm addicted to my smartphone. 이렇게 얘기하잖아요. 여기서는 게임에 중독된 거니까 I'm addicted to computer games. 자, 일반적으로 얘기를 하는 거니까 복수 형태로 computer game라고 하시면 안 되죠? computer games. 오케이? Okay? 그리고 한국어에는 그냥 게임이라고 나왔지만 어, 영어에는 좀 이게 만약에 라이팅을 하실 때첫 문장으로 나오면 읽는 사람이 모르잖아요. 게임이라고 그냥 하면 뭐 여러 가지 게임이 있으니까 구체적으로 컴퓨터 게임즈라고 쓰시, 쓰시는 게 좋습니다. 오케이, 저는 게임 중독에 걸린 것 같습니다. 저는 뭐뭐 같습니다 하니까 I think 부터 시작하고요. 게임 중독에 걸린 것 같습니다. I'm addicted to computer games. I think I'm addicted to computer games. How about you? What do you think you are addicted to? Let's take a look at the second sentence. 자, 우리 애가 왜? 그 프로그램에 참여해야 하나요? So this is the question that parents ask the teachers who suggested uh, to put the students into this um, program. 자, 우리 애가 왜 참여해야 하나요? 자, 왜가 질문이니까 why로 시작해야 되죠? 그 다음에 why should my child? 자, 우리 애는 my child라고 얘기해야 됩니다. My child participate. 참여해야 하나요? Okay, participate. 그 다음에 그 프로그램에 in that program. So somebody is talking about something. So the teacher says, oh, you know, I think your child should uh, join that program. Then we already know what program we're talking about. So the parent will say, okay, why should my child participate in that program? Okay, or in the program 라고 하셔도 되고요. Okay, so let's take a look at the final sentence one more time. 자, 우리 애가 왜그 프로그램에 참여해 하, 참여해야 하나요? 자, 질문이 왜니까 why로 시작해야 되고요. Why should 해야 하나요? 이니까 why should 누가요? 우리 애, 우리 애는 my child라고 쓰시면 되고요. 어, 참여해야 한다. Participate 어디에 참여해요? 그 프로그램에 in that program. But again, you can also say the program. Participate 대신에 다른 표현 사용하셔도 된다 그랬죠? 기억하세요? 네, 여기 써졌죠. Be part of. Be part of. Be part of is a little bit more casual than participate in, okay? So, why should my child be part of that program? Since we're talking about this, I'll give you one other expression you can Uh, use is why should my child take part in that program? Take part in. 이것도 참여하다 라는 의미를 가지고 있거든요. Why should my child be part of that program? Okay, let's review everything that we learned today. 자, 중독된, addicted. Addicted은 바로 다음에 무엇에 중독됐다 얘기할 때는 to 전치사를 사용하시면 돼요. I'm addicted to watching TV. I'm addicted to candies. I'm addicted to sugar. Okay, so to, okay, addicted spelling 조심하시고요. D가 두개 들어가요. A-D-D, I-C-T-E-D. 참여하다, 두 가지 표현 배웠죠? Participate in, be part of. Of, 그리고 한 가지 더 제가 추가로 말씀드렸죠. Take part in. 그것도 똑같이 비슷한 의미로 참여하다 라는 어, 의미를 가지고 있어요. 자, 첫 번째 팀은요. I think I'm addicted to computer games. I think I'm addicted to computer games. 뭐에 대해서 일반적으로 얘기를 할 때는 복수 형태로 쓰셔야 됩니다. I love dogs. 이렇게요. I love cats. Okay, so in that case, you have to pluralize whatever you're talking about in general. The second sentence, why should my child 
participate in that program. 큰 소리로 따라해 보세요. Why should my child participate in that program? Very good. And before you go, I have a few questions for you to think about in English. The first, do you like to play computer games? Why or why not? I know there are a lot of gamers in our country. How about you? Do you like to play computer games? Why or why not? The second question I have is, can you think of something else that is just as addictive as playing computer games? Because let me tell you, I don't play computer games, but when I play any sort of game, I do get addicted very, very easily. So yeah, I have to say computer games are pretty addictive. Can you think of anything else that is just as addictive? Those are my questions for you today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and today's lesson. Don't forget, check out our website at www.ebse.co.kr. Look up Teaching English too. You can post up your questions, any comments that you have. And uh, don't forget to give our program lots of love. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, spending time with me today, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!